Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? Well, I have one of my winter coats on. It's very cold outside tonight. Um, it is in the 40s <laughs> outside already. And it is windy outside tonight. Tomorrow is supposed to be high in the upper 30s. And we are supposed to have an accumulation of snow in the morning. <laughs> Which, you know, I'm kind of excited about because I love snow and I'm ready for Christmas. And if you follow me on Instagram and you look at my Instagram stories, then you would know that yesterday I posted all of these Christmas pictures. Um, because I started following, like, all of these Christmas accounts that have, like, beautiful pictures of Christmas and snow and blizzards. And I love all that stuff. So, <laughs> it's very cozy Christmas time and I'm really excited and... I've got to get my front porch ready. Well, I still have my pumpkins out there for Thanksgiving. So I don't know. I might wait until like the day after Thanksgiving. Caroline and I went to Costco. What was that yesterday? And they had poinsettias and they had like ivy, but they didn't have like the big things, which is what I like at Costco that you can get. Um, so when they put those out, I'll probably get one for there and one for there. Um, you know, it's not as easy for me just to, like, run from place to place to place this year. So I have to kind of, like, plan it out with people um, that I'm at. Like, Caroline doesn't really have um, big space in her car for me to get, like, planters and things like that. Um, so, like, it would have to be something that Alex and I do on a weekend. So, yeah. So I don't know which weekend we will do that. Um, but one of these weekends. He'll be out of town next weekend in Miami for his cousin Maya's birthday. Um, but yeah, it's cold. It's very, very cold. And, um, let's see today, um, Alex worked in the morning a little bit and then he came home and he took me to Macy's where I looked for a suit for tomorrow and I got very discouraged <laughs> because even though I've lost weight, um, I'm kind of like between sizes on stuff and uh, first of all I like I like shopping for clothes I like going and looking at stuff but not when it's like something that I have to wear to something like like a wedding or like you know like a funeral or something like that that I know I'm gonna probably wear one time and so I'm like sitting there and I'm like looking at this stuff and I'm trying to like I, I like okay so I have suits in my closet if I were heavier and I have suits in my closet, like, if I were 10 pounds thinner. But I don't have any suits that fit me currently. So that meant that I had to buy a new suit. But I was wanting to buy something that I could wear again. That wasn't just, like, something that would hang in my closet. And then when I lost 10 more pounds, it would be another suit that I had spent quite a bit of money on. And I buy the off-the-rack suits. I'm not, like, I don't go in and I don't wear a suit enough that I go and buy like an Armani suit or something, you know, or some expensive suit that you have to have tailored. Like I buy an off the rack suit. Um, and honestly, at Macy's, I really like the INC brand that th that is their brand of suits. I've had, I have a couple of their that suit brand. Um, it's like, I think it's like the Macy's brand, but they, today when I was looking at their suits, they would either have like a jacket that would fit me but no, like the pants, they wouldn't have in my size. So Alex was like, let's just go to the suit section. So we went to the suit section and I found, well, he found it for me, like these navy blue, it's like uh, Ralph Lauren corduroy pants. It wasn't, it was actually on sale. I was like, cause when he brought it over to me and I saw like the, the Ralph Lauren thing, I was like, oh yeah, I'm not paying $300 for a jacket and $300 for pants, but it was on sale and it was corduroy pants and then a matching corduroy jacket that had like the elbow sleeves on it, you know, or like the, the padded sleeves on it. And it was really a handsome suit. Unfortunately, when I tried it on, um, the pants were like, I couldn't even get them clasped <laughs> together. And then when I went to go look to see if they had p pants that were bigger, the next size up that they had was so big that they were too big on me. So I couldn't get that suit. I was starting to get really frustrated. I was like, gosh, I just wish I had something at home that I could just wear. So Tommy Hilfiger has this brand and it's called Flex. 
I've never heard of it before, but anyway. It's a lot of mix and match stuff. And it's like suit pants, thick chinos kind of, all different kinds of pants and all different kinds of colors, like checks, plaids, just regular colors. And then all different kinds of jackets that you can mix it with. And then they had shirts and sweaters. And so it's like all different kinds of like, I mean, they had it like paired on the mannequins. They had like a, like a checked jacket with like striped pants. Like, and I'm not somebody that can probably pull that off. But I ended up like, I found these pants and the waist was flexible. And I was like, okay, these are perfect. And like, I don't know if you've heard me talking here before, but I like, like, like my pants to like sit like on the length, like right at like, right below like my ankle. Um, I'm probably a length of 32, but I like them 30. I like them a little shorter than that. So that they sit like right at the top of my shoe, if that makes sense. So anyway, um, I don't like, like like them hanging over my shoes. On the, I don't like all that. So I'm very particular about this kind of stuff, especially when it comes to like dressing up. Um, so I found these pants that were these Tommy Hilfiger pants and they were actually on sale. And um, so I got those and then I have this jacket and the jacket's like this small, like checked jacket. I don't love the jacket. I have to just tell you, I'm not a huge fan of the jacket. But the jacket fits, and the pants fit. The pants fit perfectly. And um, they're so comfortable. And it's supposed to be freezing tomorrow. So Alex was like, by that point, like he had like tried so hard. He was like going from suit to suit to suit to suit. And like, how about this? And how about that? And pulling suits for me. And so finally, when I went to go try on this corduroy suit, he like sat down outside of like the changing room. So then when I was going back and forth, and I like found these flex suits was when like I came back over and I held this, like I came out with the suit on and I go, what do you think about this? And he was like, I think it's, I go, do you think it's too casual for a wedding? He goes, no, I think it's fine. And I said, but what do I wear with this? Like what shirt do I wear with this? Cause I didn't like to get a button down. Like the jacket was like, it's not, like if I put the jacket on and I said, do you guys think it's tight? You'd be like, it's not tight at all, Peter. But like, it feels a little bit tight. The other thing that was so weird when I was trying these jackets on today is that like my shoulders are like, feel like broader in it, like in the jackets. Like I've gone up like a size in jacket. It's really weird. I've lost weight, but I've gone up a size in jacket. It makes like no sense. And I don't, I haven't been lifting weight, so I'm not like broader or anything. I, I really don't understand it. So, look, I try this on, I go, but I don't know what I would wear with it. And Alex goes, well, you have that really nice navy blue turtleneck sweater why don't you just wear that turtleneck sweater with it? And I was like, you know what? That would actually look really nice. Which is like a pair of like boots, like not like boot boots, <laughs> like I've got my Ugg boots on, but like, you know, like a pair of dress boots or like a pair of dress shoes or something like that, that would look really nice. And then if I want to take the jacket off, I could be really comfortable and just like the sweater and the pants. So, and it's supposed to be cold tomorrow. So I was like, this is perfect. Cause then I don't have to wear a coat on top of the suit. I can just, wear this and I'll be fine. So I was like, that's a really good idea. So that's what I'm gonna wear tomorrow. Alex is gonna wear a suit and then he's gonna wear a sweater and a shirt underneath it. And neither one of us is gonna wear a tie. Um, so it'll be fun, I think. Speaking of the wedding, um, the wedding is in late afternoon. Depending on when I get up and how much I get done tomorrow, and especially since it's gonna be cold and Alex is gonna be inside all morning long, <clears throat> I don't know that I'm gonna have an opportunity to vlog tomorrow. And if I was to vlog, it would probably be when I got home and we were trying to figure out like how late the wedding will go and it'll probably be like eight or nine, which means then my vlog, I don't know when my vlog would get up. So I may not vlog tomorrow. I just wanna make that clear now so if you guys like don't see the vlog come up. I know the other night, like I posted my vlog really late and all honesty, I just forgot. And then I woke up in the middle of the night and I was like, oh my God, I forgot to post my, I think I was bringing Boo Radley out here. And I was like, you didn't post your vlog. And so I posted it and it was like 4.30 in the morning or something, four or five in the morning, 
four thirty or five. So um, I just want to say on here, I may not post a vlog tomorrow. I will try to remember to post on my community tab or in the Vlogarinos group. If I don't do a vlog, that I'm not gonna. I, I think I should know by the. I mean, I obviously would know by the time. Well, I might not know because depending on what. If I mean, if we were at the wedding and we got back from the wedding at like six or seven, which I can't imagine. Um that we would get back that early. But the wedding and the reception are at the same place. So. <sighs> this is somebody that Alex used to work with. I've only met her a handful of times. I don't know her really well. Um, but the wedding looks like it's gonna be really nice. Um, the couple that we're friends with that Alex used to work with this girl, and we know, like, she and her husband started dating I think they started dating a little bit before Alex and I started dating. Um, but like the first year that Alex and I dated, not the girl that's getting married, but this girl that we know that's going to the wedding, this woman, <laughs> she's not a girl anymore. Not yet a woman, <laughs> like Britney Spears said. But um, Tanya and I were just talking about that song the other night. She, they're the same couple that went to Dallas. Well, one of the couples, there was two couples out there, but they're one of the couples that went to Dallas when we went for the wedding a couple years ago. And we're really good friends with this couple. And um, so I'm excited to see them. And uh, like her, like when we would go out and like the first year that, uh, this is what I was gonna say, the first year that we were together, there were like four or five couples like the people that work together and their partners that would like, we would all go out and we would do like karaoke on Wednesday nights and we would do like dinner on Monday nights or Tuesday nights. It was like we, well, it wouldn't have been Tuesday because that wouldn't have been my home group, but like Monday night or whatever, Wednesday, Thursday, we did like dinner together. And so we did a lot of social stuff together with this group. Not this girl that's getting married. I don't like, like I said, I don't know, know her very well. Um, but these people that go to the, are going to the wedding so her husband and I used to hang out a lot actually together. And so I'm excited, like when we would go do stuff, like he, he and I would always be like in a corner, like laughing and telling jokes and he's really a nice guy. So I'm really excited to see them. And um, yeah, and I don't think they know a lot of other people going to this wedding either. Um, and hopefully we're like seated at the same table. I'm, I'm sure we will because that's the the common thread between like the workplace. I asked Alex, I said, are there other people that you know that are going to this wedding? He's like, I don't know anybody else that's going to this wedding. He was like, I mean, it's not like I'm part of organizing this wedding. I go, oh, I understand that, but. <laughs> Last night, you guys, we were gonna watch TV and I like crashed and burned. I was so tired. And, um, I mean, like, exhausted, tired. And I woke up at, like, 1.30 in the morning, and I was like, just sleep through the night. Then you can get your stuff done, and then when Alex comes home, you can go to Macy's, and then you won't have to work and do stuff in the afternoon. But I was so, like, wanted to watch these shows, so I got up last night, and it wasn't super cold outside yet. So I watched Alaska Daily. God, that show is so good. I love that show so much. <laughs> And then I watched RuPaul's Drag Race, the uh, UK, uh, the, this newest episode from this week. Now it's the semifinals going into next week. And um, it was a really good episode of RuPaul's Drag Race UK. There's really like a sisterhood on this season. And um, I like all of them so much. And then I have, I watched, I was thinking about having, I had some treats. <laughs> I did have some treats. Think about what I want for dinner, because Alex and I are going to either go pick something up, or we might go out to dinner somewhere, but I doubt it, because um, we have these shows to watch at home. I said, well, do you want to just pick up something and bring it home, and then that way we can watch these shows. He was like, yeah, he's like, or we could have something delivered. I just like whenever I get stuff delivered, it never gets there the way that I want it to as being a vegetarian, which for me is hard. And so it's like, I get so excited about whatever the meal is gonna be. And then it's like, if I order a salad, it has bacon on it. Or if I order this, it has chicken in it. And then I'm like, 
even though I'm very specific when I order that stuff online. And then it's always a problem, and then I'm like, I'll just have something frozen in the freezer. And then we shouldn't have just ordered food to begin with, you know? So anyway. So, I, so then I watched two episodes of Manifest. I'm almost done with the, I'm almost done with season two. I thought I was further in the season than I and than I am. I think I've got a, a episodes 11, 12, and 13 to watch, and then I'm done with season two. Season two is really good. It is really, really good. Somebody commented and said on the video, like, and I totally know what they're talking about, but they said, the thing about Manifest is, <laughs> the thing about Manifest is, um, that reminds me of the Shane Dawson quote when he's like, the thing about sociopath, the thing about Manifest is that it always leaves you with like a cliffhanger, right? And then they never, like, and then the show starts up again and that the cliffhanger is like never resolved, like you don't find anything out. That's what they said, right? And I totally know what they mean because like Manifest does like end on a cliffhanger every single week. But I feel like they resolve it, like, pretty quickly, the next episode. Like, however it ends, I feel like it picks it right up. And it kind of talks about, like, what's going on and what's happening with that episode, or with the previous episode and all that. I love the show. I like the guy that plays the dad. There's some good-looking men on Manifest, first of all, okay? The guy that plays Ben, who's the dad, he is super good-looking. And then the guy that plays Jared, the police officer, ex-boyfriend of Michaela, he is super good-looking. And he just got, like, a new haircut because he's supposedly part of this group. And if he was good-looking before, he is, like, really good-looking now with this new haircut. It's, like, super short. And then her, is that my neighbor? I oh, know that's the guy with the harness that was walking yesterday. And then um, the other boyfriend, what's his name? Zeke, he's super good looking too. I'm like, oh my God, there's all of these. Is that his name, Zeke? I think it is. All these super good looking guys. They talk about addiction and recovery on there too pretty honestly and they show meetings and stuff I'm like really into the show the thing is like I'm really into it and, or that I'm really into manifest and I'm really into fear of the walking dead but now that I'm trying to like catch up and finish this like season of a manifest and I'll probably just like gung-ho watch season three and then season four like fear of the walking dead is kind of on hold for me and I kind of want to get back to fear of the walking dead you know what I just remembered while I was talking about this do you guys watch fear of the walking dead I had a dream about Nick from Fear the Walking Dead last night. That's so weird that I had that dream. But it wasn't like a zombie dream. We were just like talking in the dream. It's like a group of people and he was there. I don't know how I just remembered that. That's like Fear the Walking Dead saying, Peter, come back, watch us, watch us. So yeah, I stayed up way too late again watching TV. But I had fun. I had two cups of tea. I made, um, the first one was a mandarin orange, and the second cup of tea that I had was sleepy time tea, which I don't feel like does anything to make you sleepy time. <laughs> it was sleepy time tea, and I had one of my honey sticks in it, which was really good. It's delicious. tired you know maybe it's because like I'm talking about it more or like I'm sitting on the front porch or whatever um by the way happy veterans day to everyone out there that served and to the family and friends of those that served thank you for your service I appreciate it um my neighbor and I today he he was um, in the Coast Guard, and we were talking about... He was in the Coast Guard for, like, 35 years. And uh, so he got to... I was talking about the weather, so I'll talk about the weather and, like, it getting dark early. I'll talk about that in a second. But we were talking because when his... Uh, I was talking to his wife earlier, and I said, Oh, where is he at? And she said, Oh, he's at lunch with his buddy his Coast Guard buddy, they went to Brew Burger today. 
And I said, oh, they did? And he was like, yeah. She was like, um, because it's Veterans Day, there's like certain restaurants in Indianapolis, and if you go there, they give you a free meal for your service. And I was like, oh my God, I didn't know that. Like, that's really cool, right? So, um, when I was getting ready to vlog and stuff, like he came out to check the mail, and I said, you of all people should know. I like shout it over. I go, you of all people should know there's no mail today. And he goes, why wouldn't there be any mail today? And I go, because it's Veterans Day. And I said, thank you for your service. And he was like, you're welcome. And he was like, thank you for saying that. And I said, I heard you went and got your free meal at Brew Burger. And he was like, yeah. He goes, we do. My friend and I, we go do that every year. We pick a different place. And I said, well, that's really cool that they do that. I said, how do you know like which restaurants do that? And he was like, there's a list online. And, um... And I said, so, like, how do you decide where you're going to go? And he goes, we just pick a different place every year. He goes, you know, it's funny. He goes, like, places like O'Charlie's, like, they'll have, like, a printed off menu that's just for Veterans Day. And they have, like, six options that you can, like, pick from the six options that they have, like, for their free meal for Veterans Day. And he was like, but we went to Brew Burger, and I said to the guy, like, do you have a special menu for, you know, Veterans Day? And the guy was like, he just hand, handed us the menu and said, just pick anything off the menu. And he's like, it's on us. Wasn't that so sweet? I thought that was so nice. Um, so, yeah. But I think, like, I don't know that, like, previous years, I'm sure, like, people that have watched my vlog, you're like, well, Peter... On November 3rd, you said, I don't remember saying it, but um, the getting dark earlier, like, it's like what? I don't know. It's probably like, how long have I been vlogging for? So it's like 20 after 6 at this point or something like that. And um, I mean, it's almost pitch black outside. I don't know if, you can, if it picks it up on camera, like how dark it is. Do you see that? That's 20 after 6 in Indianapolis. I mean, it's pretty dark. You know, and um, but what is that? It goes until until December twenty first, right? And then it gets darker and darker and darker and darker. And then after December twenty first, it's every day gets a little bit lighter until June twenty first, right? And then June 21st is the longest day of the year. Because Alex always brags because that's his birthday. So he's like, I get the longest day of the year to have my birthday. He always brags about that. But whatever. Um, I mean, it's not the longest day. It's like longest day of sun, sunshine. But um, yeah, I think like maybe I notice it more now because of just like sitting out here on the front porch and, you know, it's whatever. But like. I really do notice it this year. Like, I really do notice it, like, getting dark a lot earlier. And this cold that just kind of came out of nowhere, Galax and I were looking at the weather today. Well, I was, like, looking at it when he, we were on our way to Macy's, and he was like, this cold is ridiculous. <laughs> he hates the cold. Alex absolutely hates the cold. And it's supposed to be, like, uh, all 30s and 40s for, like, the next 10 days. And, um, like, I don't remember, I've got to order the dinner rolls for Thanksgiving. <laughs> That's another thing i got to do. Um, I don't remember, um, my neighbor, I can hear her in there, her kitchen's right there, I can hear her in there cooking something up, it sounds like. Um, I don't remember it being, like, this frigid cold in November. Like, it's cold, you guys. Like, this is cold for... I mean, we don't even have, like, in January sometimes it doesn't even... I mean, sometimes it gets, like, pretty bad. But they're saying this winter is, of course, the winter that I'm going to be sitting on the front porch, you know. They're saying that this winter we're supposed to have a lot of precipitation and that it's supposed to be a really, really cold winter. So, I don't know. We'll see. I'm trying to figure out what I want for dinner. I don't really know what I want. Alex said something about Thai food, but I'm not really in the mood for Thai food tonight. And I'm not in the mood for pizza. I could really go for Yats, but they don't deliver this far. And I think Alex is just kind of wanting to stay in and not have to like travel anywhere to go get food. I actually asked him on the way home, I said, Will you stop at Subway 
and oh this was another thing so I need like a lightweight fleece jacket for winter just to like when it's like 40 to 50 to wear you know like just doing stuff like a lightweight jacket that I can have like a t-shirt on underneath and put the jacket on you know because I got this at Costco this is like an Eddie Bauer jacket it's nice but like to be honest with you like it's it's okay, but like it's not as comfortable as a fleece jacket. And I actually have that Ralph Lauren one that's like navy blue like that. I have two of them because I thought I had lost it and then I bought the other one like a year later. Do you guys remember that? So when we were at Macy's today, like I saw that they had a North Face section and I was like, I didn't remember Macy's having a North Face, face section. So I went over and I tried on this like zip up fleece jacket. They had a lot of fleece jackets, but they were the ones that kind of like the zipper only goes to here and then you slip it over. I want like the zipper all the way up. And they only had one and it was black and it had like gray pockets here and here. And it was expensive. It was like 189 or $169. And so I said, I wore it over and I showed it to Alex and I go like, what do you think of this coat? Are you that thrown out? And Alex was like, do you? really need another coat and I go well I do I need a lightweight coat like this and I said I you know like I'm Caroline and I were going to go to North Face and he was and so he was going to get a gift card at Crate and Barrel for this wedding tomorrow and so he was like well why don't I just take you to North Face and then we can go to Crate and Barrel and I said okay that's perfect because then I can pick out whatever North Face coat that I want so we were on our way over there and Alex said, you know, he goes, I feel like they moved for some reason. He goes, why don't you Google Google it and see if they're still there? And so I Google searched the store, the North Face store, permanently closed. <laughs> so they're gone for good. So I guess I'm gonna have to go to Dick's Sporting Goods or something, but like last year when I went to Dick's Sporting Goods, because this one jacket that they had at Macy's, I mean, $189 for a jacket that you kind of like, like forget it, right? Like, I would pay that much for a jacket that would get me all th through winter because just to throw on with, like, Ugg boots and a t-shirt, like, just to go out to lunch or go run errands or whatever is, like, to wear every day. Like, that's what I need, right? Um, and when you live in this kind of, like, this kind of weather, you would understand what I mean. Like, you always kind of have to have a jacket, but you don't want something that's huge and bulky because you don't want to carry it with you everywhere because it's not going to probably get that cold, but you need something that's warmer than a t-shirt, you know, whatever. So anyway, this is stupid. I would pay that much, but I want to pay that much for something that I like. I don't want to pay that much for something that I just am kind of like okay with, but that I need, you know what I mean? Oh, Patagonia jackets are too slim fitting for me. And any other fleece coat that I have like bought through the years, the Columbia ones are okay. I don't mind Columbia ones as well. Um, I don't feel like they're as warm. I feel like honestly, like the North Face ones, as basic as it is, they are the ones that have kept me the warmest um, through the years. So I think my last one was just a black, like it was just a basic black one that I had. So I would be really happy with something like that. I'm in another dental appointment next week. I'm not excited. I have two appointments next week. So they just called me tonight from my neuro neurologist appointment. This is so weird because I was just talking about this on here. My neurologist's office just called and said that my CAT scan is booked for Monday early. And, and she was like, it was funny because when she, she was like, so we booked your CAT scan and I go, okay. And she goes for Monday, <laughs> like she thought I was going to be mad or something. But the only thing I thought I had to schedule it. So I was going to call and try to schedule it the last week of November. I didn't realize he wanted me to get it done this quickly, but the only thing is that um, I have to take an Uber that day, which is fine, I don't mind that, but I also have to take an Uber to our marriage counseling session, which means that's two Ubers in one day that I have to take, and that's a lot of like getting there and getting back. It's, it, it just, it, the whole process takes a long time, and so I also wanna like film videos in between, and I'm like, okay, so I hope I have time to get all this stuff done, you know? But anyway. It'll be fine, it'll work itself out. So that's Monday and then Tuesday. 
my meeting. And then Wednesday, I don't think I have anything. I think my dentist appointment is on, it's either Thursday or Friday, and then Alex leaves on Friday. But he's taking my, my to my dentist appointment at first. I'm not excited. It stopped. I'm not excited at all. <laughs> Can you tell? Um, yeah. I'm trying to get all of this stuff taken care of. Like, I'm trying to, like, you know, keep up with everything that's being recommended to me. Um, because for so long, like, I didn't, you know, keep up with, like, you know, my dental stuff. Like, and I'm so, like, all the stuff that he's recommending, I'm trying to keep it up and do. But I just, God, I just don't like the dentist. I just don't. It's not that I don't like him. Like, he's a really nice guy. Like, he is, it's a new dentist that I'm going to. Um, within the same group, but a new dentist. He's really a nice guy. And we actually know a lot of the same people in common. And um, so, he's and, and he's younger. I wouldn't say he's young. He's probably, I don't know, 40. Yeah, maybe a little bit older than that, maybe 45. He's a super nice guy. And um, I think, you know, has just given me really good suggestions and advice. I just, I don't like the dentist. I, I really never have. And, um, and I can remember, like, growing up, like, I never was somebody that, like, when I went to the dentist, like, had tons of cavities or anything like that. Like, I just didn't, you know? Like, did I have them from here, you know, every once in a while, from here to there? From here to there. What's the word I'm looking, what's the saying I'm looking for? Did I have them from time to time? Yes. But was it, like, every time I went in there, I had cavities, so, like, I dreaded going to the dentist? No, it wasn't like that at all. Like, I would go for my six-month or annual cleaning or whatever, and most of the time, it was okay. It was, there was no problem with it, you know? Um, you guys, I just have to tell you this really quick, and this is on my Peter Does Stuff channel today, too. I showed it in my unboxing. Well, I showed it in my haul that I did, but I want to share it on here as well. So, Shannon, who is a vloggerino, she had a t-shirt made for me, you guys. I showed it in the, um, in the video, but it's, it says vloggerino at the top, and then underneath it, it says all the things, the quotes that I say at the end of the vlog, you know? And then at the end, she says Peter Mon. And then she had a bandana, you guys, made for Boo Radley, and the bandana says doggerino on it. You guys, I like teared up and everything. I was like, Alex, you are never gonna believe what somebody had made for me. It is so sweet. I was like blown away. It was like the nicest thing ever. I loved it. So Shannon, thank you so much. You totally made my day today. Yeah, so Alex and I are gonna figure out what we're gonna eat tonight and then we're gonna watch Real Housewives of Salt Lake City and then we're gonna watch, um, what do you call it? And then we're gonna watch both of the American Horror Stories. And I am probably going to relax after that and maybe lay down for a little bit. And then, um, and then, yeah, and then I don't know, get up and watch some TV or something. <laughs> Such is my life. <laughs> Such is my life. My life of love. Oh, there's a car has like bright lights coming down the street. Do you see that? You better just tune down those lights, mister. They go the other way. There's like literally like one, two, three, four. There's like eight condos, like four on each side of the road and like the roundabout by the pool down there. And I feel like every time somebody comes down the street, they go down that way. And I'm like, there's nothing that way. Like, where's everybody going? Where's everybody? It's like the end of the movie, The Rose. Where's everybody going? The movie was so sad. I love that movie with Bette Midler so much. All right, you guys, listen. I'm going to cut this one short tonight, and I'm going to get off here. So um, I hope that you guys are having a magically amazing Friday and a fantastic, wonderful uh, beginning to your week. <laughs> beginning to your weekend. And if nobody else has told you this today, I love you. And remember these three very important things, like Shannon put on the T-shirt. One, you can start your day over whenever you want, or your weekend, or your week, whatever. Start it over whenever you want. Two, Practice random acts of kindness, but shh, don't tell anyone. Just do it 
because it's the right thing to do. It's a nice thing to do, to put positive energy out there into the world. And three, most importantly, make sure to reach out to somebody and let them know how much they mean to you. You might just be putting a smile on somebody's face and wouldn't we all love to do that? And wouldn't we all love to have a smile on our face? And also, be kinder to one another, love one another a little bit more. Be kinder to one another, love one another a little bit more, and be kinder and love yourselves a little bit more. And I love you guys so much, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Love ya.